Hey y'all, we're back. Hope everyone's doing well, that you are cozy, comfy, and subtle in for two hours of shenaniganry. I know I am. Obviously, we're all here this week. I'm back home. And uh, I'm just going to go right into letting people introduce themselves because I don't have a lot on my plate for one. So I'm going to go in the order to on the screen. So I'm going to go to Sharif. Hello. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Sharif. Uh, he, him. I'll be playing Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial, Warlock. Also, he, him. You oh, that's out. me next. Yes, sorry, I lost track of what <laughs> clockwise means. Hi, everybody. I'm Ohen. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, I read clocks backwards, and I'm mm -hmm. playing Kent, uh, our tiefling phantom rogue. Brian. Hi, I am Brian. I uh, play Virgil, your Asimar sorcerer. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. Yeah, that's right. And it's Masood! Everyone's decibel levels were so low this morning, I thought I'd bring in a little extra. Hey, I'm Masood! I'm Flingosric Nomrad, our businessman, socialist, druid construct. We're having a good time. Uh, both our pronouns are he, him. And I will be bringing the decibels back down. Hello. Yes. My name is Latia Jakees. Mm. I will be playing everyone's favorite, Eric Okra Monk, Tahani. My pronouns are she, her, and so are hers. Brought to you by Ira Glass on NPR. <laughs> <laughs> like, like There's peaks and valleys. Yeah. Uh, I'm It'll just going to be... Gonna be I'm, we're sorry in advance, DC. We're sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm your DM, Tanya Seifert here. I play, normally play Sleece Historio and her girlfriend. All pronouns for, for Sleece, myself, and Faye are she, her. Mm -hmm. uh, once in a while, I remember the Fenris is there. He's our, our Cerberus, not a Cerberus doggo. And all your NPCs, so pronouns vary. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to whoever has the ad read this week. All right, so I got it this week. So let's start off by talking about monsters that make us awesome. Start out with D&D Beyond. So we have all our character sheets online, so we're able to access all of our abilities, all of our spells, initiative rolls, looking at monsters on the fly, managing encounters, uh, seeing dice rolls of the entire campaign at once, which is really cool. Um, so make sure to check them all out at dndbeyond.com. And as usual, we'll be giving out a bundle um, in chat. Um, so if you're listening live uh, on the Twitch stream, be on the lookout for the uh, keyword that will appear, um, and you'll be able to enter that raffle. Uh, remember, you do have to be present to win, so make sure to stick around if you want a chance at that loop. So make sure to check out DND Beyond at, at dndbeyond.com. And here's this day one. Uh, pretty, pretty cool people. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Warmwood. It's W Y R M Wood. Um, and they're at warmwoodgaming.com. You want to use the code RIVALS for free domestic shipping on their site. Um, our dice uh, are, are provided by Die Hard Dice. Um, check them out at dieharddice.com. Um, and uh, I'm looking at Masood's dice. I'm trying to, uh, they, 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 they just stunned me mid ad read with how beautiful they were. Um, and use the code RIVALS for 10% off of uh, Masood's Dice. Um, if you want any uh, geeky gear to hang around your your uh, place, make sure to check out Stormcrow um, at shop.stormcrow.com. They have mugs, they have masks, they have shirts, posters, all that good stuff. Um, and use the code RIVALS for 15% off of their merchandise. Um, and if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the RIVALS crew, Check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemic.com slash rivals. Uh, make sure to make all your purchases at that link for mics and, and the other hardware that they sell. We do get credit for your purchases, so make sure to check that out. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you want to check out the full Rivals lineup in Idol Champions, make sure to check out Idol Champions by Codename Entertainment. Everybody that you see on screen has characters in the game including the newly released Virgil, um, who's all about electricity, uh, meaning every time that you play with him, you have to solve an equation about electromagnetism, uh, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, I've been able mm -hmm. to really use that in my physics tutoring a lot. So thank you, Brian, for making sure that your character <laughs> goes over all four of Maxwell's equations before, <laughs> before any uh, action is uh, performed. So I really, really like that. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> and uh we uh also have uh you know we have uh definite familiars as well we have disco we have 
Fenris, um, and we have Pest as well, Commander Pest. So uh, make sure to um, check out some like rivals affiliated familiars as well. Um, and uh, yeah, and 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 you also get bonuses if like you use all the rivals you want. So make sure to check uh, that out. Um, pretty pretty fun stuff. Um, and we're also uh, our newest uh, uh, supporter is Voice Mod. Um, and I believe we have a voice to introduce that. That is muted as well. You are muted. Well, it's just me, everyone, coming to you from an enormous, vaunted, non-denominational cathedral sanctuary, uh, telling you all about Voice Mod. You know, you can go to voicemod.net. That's right. I said net. To check out this amazing software. You can also use code RIVALS if you decide you want a full license and get a little bit off the price. Voicemod.net. Oh, the acolytes are coming. I'm, I'm in the way. Goodbye. Oh, that is uh that is the annual live from Candlekeep from a huge room in Candlekeep. A <laughs> huge empty room in Candlekeep. Um and with that, uh we're done with the adverts. Uh I believe it is time for our favorite murder burb whoosh captain to to get us ready to do a recap. Off to you. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Um hi everybody. Uh it's me. Uh it's time to whoosh. I got nothing. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally just realized that I'm sitting here and I'm like, normally I'm a lot more animated than this, but... We're just to the know. point today. We're excited it's to cold. get going. You know, it's it's more, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, let's... All right, let's go, everybody. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. And they go and chat. Wonderful. Oh, and perfect timing on a raid, too. Love yeah. that. Heck yeah. All right. What did we do last week? We made a friend and we made several n not friends. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we sure well, did. I guess, yeah. We made, well, no, we made a friend. Mm -hmm. We made several not friends. And then Shaka made a friend from the oh. not friends. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot no. about the last so bit. We can't, we can't exactly. let that go. Away. <laughs> yeah. uh, with a new friend, which is what I mean, it's all about. Exactly. Right. And, with friends, and with friends like these, who needs enemies? Exactly. Necromancy yeah. is really about the friends you made along the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally. And yeah. <laughs> we started off last week's episode. Um, in the, the skiff that was lent to us uh, from the Spelljammer crew, and so we hopped on uh, that and made our way out, we decided to, uh, well, Gazric gave it a name, um, just so we had a way to identify it, Lucinda, but it prefers Lucy, um, and upon gaining sentience of itself uh, as a having an identity, it truly wasted no time in giving us the most sass for trying to uh, bypass a lot of its uh, programming and codes to give us access to um, more than just the destination that we were assigned. Um, and so with that, we chose not to go to Lower Brawl, where we were originally sort of sectioned out to, to go to prison to be um, on someone's warrant um, that we did not care to find out. We chose to go to Upper Brawl. Um, and I, for the life of me, can't remember where it was it, like a restaurant with all uh, a, a bunch of fancy folks. Cause the way Kent's eyes lit up upon here, <laughs> like... we, got, we got like the, we got like the rundown of the yeah. locations in upper brawl. Yeah. And like, I, I know that Tanya was basically saying them straight from the, uh, straight from the spell jammer text, which y'all need to read. Cause it's awesome. And yeah. yes, the, the fancy folk restaurant, Kent was like, can we, and I'm, and we're like, <laughs> but it was, but it was like everything like Kent's not uh, Virgil. We live here now. Cause it has a big library and a fancy restaurant. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is like um, the Brawl we... town square. Exactly. Yes, exactly. There's, there's, there's um, like a little trolley that, you know, goes around. Oh, I got it. Oh, so I love cute. that. That would be so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we just we we basically got um, after after you know revealing that the rivals don't know anything about <laughs> the technology of wild space at right. all. Uh, we did get Lucy to drop us off at Upper Brawl mm -hmm. and um, and disembarked, and uh, we encountered, I believe, um, we I mean we don't know them from Adam, but they were described as the Royal Guard, so mm -hmm. I assume Royal that they had fancy uniforms of some kind. I don't. Doesn't matter. It didn't matter. Um, <laughs> no, it's like uh, the, the Royal Guard. I'm like the Royal Hoomst, whatever. Um, <laughs> they rolled 
right up to us coming straight for Kent. Mm -hmm. And I um, obviously rolled right up to them. Yeah. Um, and then they uh, they threw a net over Kent. Yes. Mm. Which was very rude. So well, Kent, to be rude. honest. Very yeah. Rude. Tried to phase uh, through, couldn't. Which yeah, was that awful, was new and awful. Yeah. 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 You can face through the cell wall door, so it's like, okay, yeah, what's going, with the tech? what's going on with the magic and tech out here? Whatever. Clearly, they need to share um, it with their pirates. There was a request to release him, mm -hmm. they uh, they did not ascertain and um, sorry, acquiesce is what I was looking for. Ascertain, I had an old kids in the hall sketch in my head, sorry, about that. um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it got a little rough. Well, for them, uh, yeah, uh, Dahani, yeah. Dahani, uh, you know, stepped up ready to defend uh, her friend. And I mean, listen, Kent thought it was very scary. Uh, unfortunately, the guards didn't. But it gave Kent the great idea uh, to make use of the, the draconic uh, frightful presence, which freaked him out. And then, uh, you know, Virgil had something to say about it. And uh, I <laughs> belatedly realized that I could just shrug off the net. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, and Shaka had a, had a fun parting, uh, parting gift. For the crew, for the yeah. guards. Yeah, yeah. We explained about it more on the post show last week. But yeah, basically Shaka went um, a little overboard, um, uh, cast a finger of death on the guard that threw the net um, at uh, Kent, and uh, 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 which uh, defeated him and then rose him as a zombie. Defeated. Uh, <laughs> defeated yeah yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Mean, an yeah. accurate yeah. word one point and then you, yeah. <laughs> um, um yeah and and then uh that royal guard rose as a zombie uh under shaka's command um did we was, name him is that a bad question to ask right now <laughs> no we kind of ended like yeah. right when yeah. uh we were departing the area we were going to try to run to get some of this heat yeah. off of us. I think I cast Pass Without a Trace on us as we were, like, booking it. Oh, yeah. Because that that yeah. I was like, I used the yeah. second level spell slot for, I was like, Pass Without a Trace. Always. And <laughs> honey stabilized them. Yeah. Yes. Um, I guess the most notable thing is the reason that we were met on Upper Brawl is mm. that they did tell us that they detected us changing our destination. Um, changing our destination yeah, and right. asked if, the, if we thought we'd get away with it. And I was like, have you met us? We think we get away with everything. <laughs> it's true. We we don't always, but we sure do think we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. yeah. Um, so so someone was someone was very clearly expecting us there and knows that we didn't go where they wanted us to go. Somebody and powerful enough to call the Royal Guard. That's that's the thing. Like, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, and the Royal Guard, I mean, they appear to know something about Kent that yeah um the rest of us possibly don't know like it could be something like related to this or it could be something oh, God. related to kent's background mm -hmm. don't know a lot about y'all so. keep doing this hush nobody has to know mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile i'm over here like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really like it's not a cara dune in the world for kent really wow you I... dirty poisoned rat <laughs> We'll see if uh we're turning this whole show around. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Andrew, right wow, now. Eugenio. Yeah, as, as, Sharif, as Sharif said. Um what? Prince what? Andrew. Oh yeah. Probably. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. That guy. I mean, this is the Royal think... Guard. Yeah. I mean, it, it it definitely could be that Prince Andrew either heard something or maybe was involved. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Not I willfully like that, forget about Prince Andrew in between every episode. <laughs> there. 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 It's really there. hard to keep it in there. Yeah, yeah. Don't Everything, I, Lucy, I remember, right? But the, Prince, <laughs> I'm just like, no, I don't want that in my head. There, <laughs> there are just names that we have encountered, for instance, Vargas, last season, oh. and now Andrew. Like, I know somebody had a had a great time writing these things, but those names will not stay in my head. No! <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but as we were leaving the uh, place of disembarkation, we ran into Solis. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and Fen? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fen? Yeah, okay. Fen, Fen, Fen. Fen. Oh, God, there's Fen. too many, and they all start I'm like, there's, Fen has been with you. Did you all forget Fen? No, 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 no. Fen no, Riss. we know Fen is here. Fen Riss, yeah. yeah. Yes, so, Fen Riss. Yeah. Fen is somewhere in the Feywild. Right. Oh, there's so many. 
well there's there's our our good our good pup and then there's my other character on another show that is not this one right um, so are we ready for this week yeah oh, yeah yes. <laughs> I like Patrick. how wait, I like how Masood <laughs> sounds like the weight of the world rests upon his shoulders. It's uh, just for the record, Godric has oh, has been off this entire season, right? Like we, things have not been comfortable for him in any capacity. His friends keep getting kidnapped. <laughs> he lost a finger. It grew back very fast, but it's still all new. Uh, and who? I mean, I'm. He's excited to see uh, Salisa and out here in like the out in brawl just more questions are and i think particularly this is okay did you wake up out here or did you how did you get here that's the only like because we got kidnapped and that wasn't cool are you, oh, so you're asking salisa and i think yeah as as we're running godrick's just like yeah Look, I'll tell you once we get to the tavern, it's a long story, not one for the street, because you they already tried to throw a net on Kent. Mm -hmm. Kent, are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> actually, I'm fine. Uh, I, it was surprising. It was really uncomfortable, I will say. But, like, yeah, on the whole, I'm okay. It's not, it's not the first time I've been tied up. Leave that for when you have a room together. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, so, do you all want to do anything as you're on your way to the Happy Beholder? Or do you just want to go straight there? No, I think we would like to move. Somewhere. I don't want to go straight there. Either. Yeah. I, I might I'll keep my head on a swivel. That part. Yeah, yeah right there. <clears throat> all right, since you're keeping your head on a swivel, you two, uh, both give me perception or investigation. You know what? I hate I it's a nat one. It's an it's what? it's, it's, it's I'm serious. Strong. I'm, no, like, serious. Because, it, look, you know Masood is gonna be like, eh? eh, eh right, eh, exactly. Eh, yeah. It just doesn't feel it feels biased. It I I because <laughs> it doesn't happen space. like this for anybody it's else. Because you're in space. God. I'm a bird, so I have a wider field of vision. <sighs> what did you get? Twenty-two. <laughs> All right. Um the honey. Sure. Honey, you catch an occasional glimpse of people that are clearly tailing you all, but trying not to look like they're tailing you. Um, you know, for people who do this stuff all the time, they're not very good at it. Like, they're good, and if you had not rolled the 22, you probably wouldn't notice it, but it's very clear this is like the movie where you, like, tail someone, and then they catch you, and you duck, and you know someone's behind you. Do they look like royal guard, or do they look like people who are meant or meant to be tailing people, but are doing a bad job about it? Um, they look like every other citizen. They're not wearing the same uniform as the people that accosted you all. Basically, they look like they're trying to be undercover and failing. Okay, uh, I will inform everybody of this that um, we are being followed poorly. Okay, uh, Faye is going to peel off and go deal with that. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. And, and I'll uh, give a, a brief rundown of what they look like, um, what they're wearing, the last cabbage stand they ducked behind. Cabbage stand. Yeah. My cabbages. Oh. <laughs> like there's a cabbage stand on this <laughs> Now there is. <laughs> okay, it's sure. cabbages, um, you know? Yeah. Sure. Uh yeah. so go ahead, Brian. I hope they're okay. I mean, but wasn't wasn't the last person surreptitiously following you? Like in trouble. Who me and the, they? No, I'm talking to them. But oh, like, the, like wasn't that back in the caldera? Like, didn't you have trouble in the caldera with somebody following you? Oh, oh, oh well, no! This is multiple people. Oh, oh. okay. No, that's yeah. That does feel different. Them. We're probably yeah. gonna kill them too. Yeah. God, what a trip out here, man! It's a beautiful place and so many bodies. Ah, what is your zombie doing? <laughs> By the way, uh, what a great so, question. Good, good, yeah. good, good. So the zombie obviously is dressed as Royal Guard, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Um, so Shaka is trying, and if no one's stopping him, he's definitely gonna do this. He's trying to position the zombie in front of us. Uh, sure. So yeah. that looks like we're being escorted or we're being Oh. Oh no. 
Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> I yes. have a question. It's probably I mean for anybody Wait, to answer. In this. or this out is, of character? This is completely out of character. Oh, but okay. Using using finger of death to then raise the creature as a zombie. What is the method of control for the caster of the zombie? Is it just like you mentally make their body do stuff, or are we actually having to like weekend it burns? The spot? <laughs> oh no, yeah. no 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 no! They're they're like a a functioning. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would have loved a weekend of Bernie's too, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not like carrying it or anything. Yeah. Okay, underneath cool. with was... like sticks. To hold yeah, exactly. Oh, right. There's no like strings or anything. Going, okay, that's, I'm, that no, was just it's... for me curious because yeah. that's awesome. It's not All like right. a marionette. Like, like a... <laughs> so you're really going to have to roll a deception roll for this because it's so because didn't you, doesn't Finger of Death kind of char the body? Uh, it definitely looks like a zombie. So it it looks it doesn't look perfect. I, well, I mean, I guess it's, it's not going to fool anyone yeah. into being a person. I'm, I, I, I mean, I mean, I don't know how covered it, are their bodies yeah, with their uniforms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if I guess. If, if 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 you allow me some grace or roll, I would say that if somebody looked close, they could tell. But if they were just passing by. Like just out of the corner of their eye, they wouldn't notice. That's what I'll, I would. And can I give him passed. the help action? I was like, Kyle, he has passed without a trace on us, so yeah. wouldn't it even that's be harder true. for someone to notice? Oh, that that's amiss? right. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about. They'd have well, to be I like, <laughs> you did. <laughs> we love the zoom in. Yeah. Plus, it's only been a few minutes. We don't have to worry about you know decay yet. There's no smell. There's no smell. Right. Yeah, yeah. The fact yeah. that you two thought of that of all yeah. things. Well, the, the, the past without a trace does the rest. <laughs> <laughs> the sound is, and the sight okay, is covered. Hold on, does the pass, hold on. Does pass without a trace actually affect the zombie? I don't know. Uh, I really it's don't know. A, so it, it, when casting, it affects uh, like a it's a sphere around me of my choice. Um, so thirty feet of me, I will choose. <laughs> To include the Thank zombie you. within the thirty feet of me in that move, uh, and I can't I wait for the post show. This is this is definitely where the one happens. It, I'm I'm trying my best to keep distraction off of us and maintaining the spell. Um, okay, and uh, no, I well we haven't had time, but I think Gazrik is like putting like literally looking. It's like okay, I only have a little bit of paint left. Okay, come on, buddy, and like just trying to touch up. The zombie with uh, like the last bits around like oh, the like oh my god it's death yeah, becomes yeah. her that's yes. it I'll, I will make we a, a to see how good I am at that my dexterity is bad so we we I'm not gonna make you roll because this is too good <laughs> okay okay you've and you already had one bad roll thank I know you thank you I don't um, <laughs> because I just need you to explain how you're doing this We're, I'm gonna roll for Faye and she's gonna find you all later I'm not yeah. gonna roll about her dispatching these people. But she's level 19 artificer and she's a little dangerous. She'll be okay. So <laughs> she's fine. Um, I need to know, please describe what you're doing to the zombie because now I need to know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, uh, I oh, hop up oh, on oh, a little oh, stool yeah. and I'm, I'm what well, you, you talk what you're doing because I'm just painting. I'm painting on this guy. That's it. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to just move him to the front. So it yeah. says th that like the zombie follows verbal orders to the best of its ability so okay. i so i explain like hey get in the front of us and just act like you're uh, leading us as you go to this uh to this uh beholder happy beholder place and then like the zombie goes Ugh. and then okay. goes and, and don't don't move the eyebrows they haven't fully set yet yeah and and it does say that if, if you look up the Kyrie Chief for a zombie, it says that they understand all the languages that they knew in life, but it can't speak. So it does understand like what we're okay. saying. Um, okay. I'm just yeah. I'm just keeping this in my pocket for later. Yeah. Um, all right. So aside from your zombie companion and Frey breaking off to go deal with your followers, you otherwise get to the happy beholder without incident. Um I'm going to just for ease of storytelling and because I also just want to make I wanted to hear how this goes. You charge the zombie with getting you rooms because they're an Imperial Guard uniform. Because you're on a planet. You have none of the currency. You have nothing. Mm. So uh, your zombie guard goes and, well, tries to get you room because you said they can't speak, correct? They can't speak. Uh, I go with him. I a oh, thousand percent go to barter a room and just look oh. at the currency at like a hundred percent. Oh my god. 
I should make you roll, but I'm not oh, you know, please it. go for it. We should, we should pickpocket people when we take them down. Dang it! I, oh. well, I think Gazer gets so confused about like my money is worth nothing here except for reviving people, I guess. Um, and like that will we'll, that'll be useful when we need it. But in the meantime, I just want to see. And what we will. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, will. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, um, will yeah. you allow me to have retroactively, like, I'll roll for this, but when I was stabilizing the other royal guard, will you allow me to have picked their pockets? Sure. <laughs> All right. Let me roll a sleight of hand. I mean, they're I'm unconscious. I'm so proud of you. Ah. <laughs> uh, Ken, Dang as it. you are a rogue, do you, do you have any pickpocket skills? Hell no, I'm a different kind of rogue. I steal oh. from tubes. <laughs> what? Okay. Can I roll with advantage because they were unconscious? Okay, now you're asking for a lot, but sure. <laughs> oh, careful, that careful. Was Next time in the twelve was good. The twelve was good. You found a few coins, but they're not like any coins you've ever seen. Okay. Um, and so that's okay. It's it, they're shinies. I will take them. Yes, but um. I really want the comedic value of Gosrick and the zombie trying to book yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, sure. I this is the, the backup the plan. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, I need to book a room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individuals. Maybe and, four rooms. I don't know. We can double. And don't forget Fenris. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fenris gets his own room. Sorry, out of character. <laughs> no. no. Okay. I'm saying don't oh. forget Fenris. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course. Not. Um. Yeah. This elven barkeep slash innkeeper mm -hmm. looks at you, kind of leans over, then looks at the zombie. Mm -hmm. And because they are close, I'm going to roll and see if they realize it's very much a zombie and not an actual living royal guard. Sure, 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 sure. sure. That's oh, cool. Sharif, I'm so sorry. I rolled an 18 on perception. Okay. They just kind of squint. At you, Gosric, and then they really take a good look at the zombie mm -hmm. and lean in. Why do you have? What have you done to this royal guard? Oh, oh to Bernard here? No, no, he's uh, he's just with us as a constable and guide for our time, uh, and thankfully been entrusted to us to handle any financial transactions. Bernard. Bernard, and he tips very well, my friend. Honestly, like a 40% tipper on everything. And you see the elf lean over and look at the nameplate on their <laughs> uniform. Mm -hmm. That doesn't say Bernard. I look at the nameplate. <laughs> oh, it's it's a very... Yeah, of course I can't literally. read it. I... <laughs> no, like, no, that... Oh, yeah. Nickname. It's a, what, what? What'd you say, Shaka? It's a nickname. Nickname. And then they really look, and they're like, hmm. So Ooh. each of you could try to give me a deception and see if you are able to force this. I would, I would love to help out with this. Uh, okay. So I, there's a nickname, it's this and this, uh, and I just, I whisper under my breath, oh, I wish that stupid nameplate just said Bernard. Uh, and as I do, the words uh, come out and do that shimmery silver thing. And I cast minor illusion over the guard's nameplate to make it say whatever it said before, but in between the first and last name in quotes, it says Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> you have to explain how this looks. Uh, I mean, it's just, I'm whispering, right? So it's just a little like silvery mist. If you look closely, you can see the words that I, <clears throat> excuse me, the words that I said in the mist. Uh, but like, as the, as the innkeeper turns to Shaka, who's saying like, oh, it's a nickname. The little mist just sort of waves by and then settles on top of the nameplate as an illusion. Certainly he could see through the illusion with a whatever check. I haven't cast an illusion spell in a minute. Uh, but yeah, um. that's what happens. <laughs> All right. Did either of you want to try deception or Shaka yeah. rolled a twenty-two on deception? Yeah. Because okay. I was talking, I felt obligated to roll. Um, <laughs> oh no! I got, a, I got a three plus two. <laughs> better than a one. It's better than a one. Hey, Virgil, my man, right on board. We're rocking five. Yeah, dude. no, we're not. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> okay, between the twenty-two and Kent's illusion, you pull one over barely. On this innkeeper. 
Galsrick, stop talking. We, we gotta get Bernard <laughs> upstairs as quickly as possible. Yes, he is. Why is he gonna decompose? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that too, but also his name's not Bernard. How loud are you being? Uh, not particular. Well, I assume the transaction's still going on. So, I mean, it's all under our breath, but it's not inaudible, I guess. <laughs> All right, that would just be cruel. I'm not going to do that to you. Um, <laughs> so the the elven innkeeper just kind of blinks. Oh, wait, that, I'm I'm getting tired. That didn't say Bernard a second ago. Long day. We get it. Oh, yeah, How many hours you've been working, my dude? Did they give you adequate rest break. What's your union rules? Where did you even come from? You don't Sorry, sound like spoon anyone. union rules. I don't know what you call it out here. <laughs> They just blink and just go, they just, all right, I'll just put it on the Royal Guard's ledger. Ugh. You can leave me alone. And he turns and gives you four keys. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Uh, let me know how you want to divide up uh, your accommodation. And also, Shaka, the zombie does stay with you. I'm staying with Bernard for sure. Oh, yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. Your, your zombie roommate. Yeah. Coming to the DMC. <laughs> well, so Salise and Faye get their own room. Yeah. I think uh it's you and me, Gazric. Uh-huh, that's it. where we're heading. Yeah. 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 It's, <laughs> usually it's like Shaka and I bunk bed. And so and then I'm like, oh, I guess yeah. Bernard's there now. Okay, what's oh. up? What's Aww. up, honey? I saw you form the letter L with uh-huh. your mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you for I, I the, the quick pivot in my head, I thought no one saw. Lahani. <laughs> that's her sister. You're right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think that's the way we split up. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, who's Fenris is going to go back with Celise. Yeah. Of um, Kent and Virgil, obviously, together. Mm-hmm. So you're you've got a little bit of time. Faye is still dispatching your tail. Yeah. Um, Wonderful. Uh, we, somebody, we can, what? I think I want to ask uh, everyone in front of like our, when we find our rooms, like let's drop off our stuff and meet back in someone's room to talk about all this. I was getting there. I was going to yeah. ask you all, or four of you, roll me a percentage. Ooh, I'll do it. Yeah, I just rolled oh. it really. I'm I'm done. I'll do it. So. Whoever gets the largest number has the biggest sitting room. Nice. 95. Of course it's you two. Of yeah. course. You have a whole suite somehow. These are some good every... percentile rolls, though, I will say. Let, let me ruin it. Yeah, that was high. It was okay. Yeah. What was, what was yours, Eugenia? Oh, no, I didn't roll because uh, I could not... <laughs> Okay, wait, sorry. Let me finish my sentence and then I will tell you what happened. I didn't roll because I knew Virgil was taking care of our room. The rolls so far were Virgil 95, Dahani 78, and Shaka 80. And Gazrik said, here, I'll roll so I can ruin it and rolled a 10. (laughs) Wow, you have a broom closet. Uh No, 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 no. Yeah, our room is split up that way. Actually, I get the broom closet and Dahani has the rest of the space. Wow. I'm looking around this room, I'm like, you don't have to take the no, 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 no. I want to make sure I can touch all four <laughs> walls and know where all four walls are around me at all times right now. So this is this good. isn't this isn't Rebel's End. I hope you know that. We should have left him in the cell on the ship if he wanted that. <laughs> oh, uh, but yes, you can you can reconvene in Kent and Virgil's parlor, which of course they got the parlor. Mm-hmm. Uh, the parlor. Yes, I mean, come on, yeah. man, they have to have a parlor. Yeah. yeah. In our defense, uh, we didn't, the rooms were randomly assigned, mostly, (laughs) probably. Maybe. Um, (laughs) But yes, you all are together, and Faye does join you as Mm -hmm. you are kind of settling down. She's got a little bit of blood on her, but she doesn't pay it any attention. I pretend I do not see it. Yeah, no, nobody ask. Just, it, just it's not. Salise, Salise just does the, mo- the the thing of like wiping it off of her Mm -hmm. while you all are talking. Perfect. May I ask, (laughs) what color is it? Uh, there's a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. Okay. Hmm. Not colors I'm not unusual being known for blood. Sure. Yeah. Well, that you can see. It's like rainbow colored paint. I'm like, what does that happen? No, there's no unicorns here. Yeah. I, just, yeah. I kind of like tug a little on God, just stop staring at it. To, okay. Don't worry about it. Come I on. just don't know anything I know, here. I know. Well, that, well, what a good place to start our little chat. 
what are we doing? How did you get here? What happened? Where have you guys been? Uh, so Celise is like sitting there petting Fenris like, look, when you weren't at Troll Skull, we searched for you. We kept searching. The next day I got a letter and it was on the weirdest parchment. It, it, it didn't seem right or real. And it basically told me, didn't include Faye, to show up at this weird inn and surrender and none of you all would be hurt. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and it was addressed directly to you. Yes. So clearly, yeah. whoever sent it doesn't know you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I took Faye with me. Right. And as you expect, there were people that thought I would agree to surrender. Where did, the, well. where did the letter find you? Um, I was a troll skull. I, okay. I stayed when we couldn't find you. Okay. Checked your rooms. Nothing was weird. Uh -huh. just, yeah. you, it's like you just vanished into thin air. And then... Okay. But how did you get from Troll School here? Did you, like, portal? Did you... Guys, we're, we're going to work on you letting me tell a story. Oh, I'm <laughs> so confused. Uh, and she just, like, she just, like, poor Gosric. And she, like, actually nudges Fenris over to comfort Gosric. Oh, I don't <laughs> understand. Water's not even H2O here. It's like, H. it, it, it doesn't matter. I, how would Gosric do? Never mind. Um... <laughs> And she just, and Salisa just kind of looks at Faye and they're like, did we tell them this is weird? So while, while we were searching that weird letter, mm -hmm. we tried like burning it. We tried ripping it. Nothing worked. And we read what turned out to be an incantation on the bottom of it. And as Gazra guessed, a portal brought us here. I see. But we were here. I guess whoever was trying to capture me belongs wherever this is, this place called Brawl. And we were able to do some some recon. And we're still not sure why anyone wants to capture us. Mm -hmm. But we were all destined for the prison, which is on the underside of this rock. Mm -hmm. I mean, do they not know what happens when people put us in prison? I don't know. I mean, remember, <laughs> I wasn't there when you went to... No, I, I know. But if they... Like, so, okay. Um, from what I understand, the people who brought us here know a lot about us. Mm -hmm. And to that point, they should have known what happens when you put us in prison. Mm-hmm. But also to that point, Tahani, they know a lot about us, but they seem to have some gaps, at least where Selyse is concerned. So as far as we can tell, they haven't said and they haven't said anything about Faye, right? You were the only one addressed in the letter. They, sp I still think that they specifically targeted our rooms in Troll Skull to get us here in the first place, which is why you weren't with us to begin mm. with, Selyse. Oh. So I, uh, Faye, I'm so happy that you're here and it's great to see you. I think it might be smart, at least until we know what's going on, if you maybe keep your distance a little, because you could really be our ace in the hole if things go south. Mm -hmm. I don't what's up like I, I just not that you can't protect yourself, but if they don't know that there is a seventh ally, there's a seventh person here, then it, well. I mean, as we've seen, they're not super great at capturing us. But like, if something happens and they manage mm -hmm. to have you, an unknown quantity, out and about and able to deal with things, could could be valuable. I certainly, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm very happy you're here. I don't want to get rid of you, but but I, it seems to me they don't know about you. Mm -hmm. But how do they know so much about you all? And this is Faye asking. Mm -hmm. How do they know so much about you? I know that there was that weird attempt at writing about Salisa's life, but the rest of you, like, how does anyone know about you? I know from what she's told me that Kent and Virgil, you keep your past pretty secret. I mean, we don't talk about it, but it wouldn't be hard for someone to trace us back to Caradune and get the story. But that's a lot of work. 
Well, so is taking us to space. I mean, people have spent <laughs> people have spent considerable resources on us before finding out about us duplicating us. I mean, this isn't exactly out of scope. It's just a matter of why, I think. I suppose the how could get us to the why, but why is what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Slee starts pacing around and thinking while you all are talking. Mm. And Faye is like, well, let's run down your enemies. <laughs> how long do we have? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that list is not actually that long. It's no, not. not as a whole. <laughs> so, um, and, and Faye is like, Based on what Lisa's told me, there was Zaraj, who's dead, mm -hmm. Ross, mm -hmm. who you all kill. Mm -hmm. um, who, there's are the Castellaners and mm -hmm. Laryl and friend or an enemy? Well, the oh. Castellaners that uh, didn't like us are dead now. Yes. Okay. And, I, and this feels, I mean, even if Laryl is not the ally we think she is, I believe that she is focused on water deep and this feels like a lot of attention not on, i mean unless she wants us gone from water deep but I, I mean we're yeah that doesn't feel right to me maybe i just uh, maybe i'm too trusting about her but mm -hmm. uh who is the guy at strixhaven mark axer he's, he's also dead. There. But he's dead he's dead have Grotz... you left anyone alive well where did we, we where were we when we killed I, Grotz? Because if we weren't in the abyss, he might still be around. He was not as, you have a soul trinket. Yeah, so that's only part of him. <laughs> as Faye says, if you left anyone alive, Virgil just looks at her and then looks at Celise and looks back at her. Yeah. And to be I saw, fair, hold on. Celise <laughs> is like, wait a minute. I never brought a zombie. And when I kill fair, people, they stay dead. <laughs> we didn't kill the castle lanterns. That's right. No. That's right. Yeah, I actually don't remember no, how that happened, no. and I don't want to know. Yeah, they were taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> right, I, it's all, yep. <laughs> uh, um, what about mm -hmm. that Mert guy? Well, Mert it's has been untrustworthy. Yeah. 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 More of a loose cannon than malicious, right? Yeah, Mert, Although, Mert has his own agenda. Yeah. But... If we're still, if we want to answer the question of how, uh, Mert would be an excellent source of information about us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if somehow, I mean, listen, we all know Mert has more than a few tricks up his sleeve, but if he was somehow a broker. convinced to talk. Yeah. Mm, what about the former rivals? What about the rest of that? I was just thinking that, but I didn't want to think it because I didn't want it to be true. Um, well, where so, and this is Celise now thinking out loud. We haven't heard from Perrin mm -hmm. in is years. Rin is still in Revel's End. I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Rin could be mad at the way that he's left at Revel's End, or we don't know what happened to him. If we haven't rescued him, he might be mad about that. It might be mad. This just seems very extravagant for yes, yeah. And, Look, I'm just listing possibilities here, Shaka. Mm -hmm. We um, haven't been burned at all, so I don't think Rain is responsible for any of this. Mm -hmm. Fire involved. That's fair. It's a fair point. From what fire, I've heard. fire still works in space, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but um, like, Rain's policy was always to burn first and ask questions later. Yeah, well, well, but but I'm just saying we don't know where he is and how That's he true. feels about the rival at this point. It's fair. Um. Well, we know where Knock Knock is, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my God, Serena's gonna murder me! I can't remember. Ash. Ash. Ashborn. Ash. Ashborn is in Avernus, mm -hmm. right, Chaka? Yep. And what Dirty D's got a family. And Dirty mm -hmm. D's got a family. So I don't what? Know. Those the, the only my only thing about those is they we never met them, not that they couldn't get information on us, but mm -hmm. like the fact in particular that I was the first one on the list for the guards mm -hmm. makes me wonder. But but I don't know. I mean, they're they're resourceful, certainly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then can no I one said, mm -hmm. oh, do you have the note still with you that was delivered to you? Oh, uh, no, it became the portal that got it. became the portal. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Oh. Wait, that's that cool. Is, that is very cool. I wanted to maybe in some way trace it back or look at something, but without it, that's also 
it's good. You destroy your own evidence. Um, yeah. Where did the portal? Where did the portal lead to when you got here? Oh yeah, it was a weird, sandy place that we could see the lights of the city when we got there, but we had to walk a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, what? Oh, I just lost my train of thought. Gosh darn it. Can I hop in while you try to get it back? It's um, not coming back, but go ahead. So <laughs> that train has gone off the track. Oh, no, you missed it. Uh, yeah. So and well, it sounds like your arrival to Brawl was a lot more simpler than ours. Um, relaying back the information being the kidnapping of like separating, dealing with the the ship and everything, and then I think finally like. And the worst part is we have no idea what any of these files mean. We we saw our names on them and like sort of like sp- spreading it out on the table. But uh, it's been unbeknownst to us how to translate any of it. Hmm. I can't right. read any of it. Um, I'm going to open my character sheet that I haven't looked at all season <laughs> and see if I can read it. <laughs> I think I can. Ooh. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, this is going to be hilarious if I can't. I don't know if I can. Hmm. Talk well, amongst yourselves for a hot didn't, second. Gazer, can you... I mean, I know we... Uh, maybe not today, but is that a thing that you can magically deal with if you have time to... Does, do jurors get comprehend languages? I, why am I twisting myself in knots for this? No, <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. Let me look. Or, or I, tongues. Uh, does tongue? No, tongues is spoken only, not read, not written. Sorry, never mind. I have no comprehend anything. In no, my spell book. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought I had comprehend languages remembered. Uh, uh, all right. Um, not. We might have to get it translated. Uh, let's see. Hey, oh, well, oh. yeah. What about Faye? Can Faye read this? Yeah. You know what? For the sake of ease, we're going to say yes because she's an artificer. <laughs> Great. Yeah. How do I not? Oh, because I don't have second level spells. Never mind. <laughs> we're just going to say Faye can uh, comprehend this just okay. for Yay. ease. Wait, can I ask just Faye now that somebody said. reads it what language it is? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Faye's actually like holding it up and flipping through it. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. This is some kind of celestial language uh, I've yeah. only heard about. Wait. I speak like celestial. Celestial, celestial. Celestial, no, yeah. like amongst the stars, not like. Oh, the oh, oh, okay. Oh. No, 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 no. I feel that. She's so reading like, more like same, celestial. same, yeah, same script, different language. Correct. Oh, well, I I do love that little detail that is included in in the core game that like there are anyway nerd. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, Kent would know that anyway. And Kent yeah, that's true. That. I would probably at least rec- have recognized the script as the celestial script, even if I couldn't read it. And she just goes through, huh. And she's just making like all these kind of interesting noises as she reads it. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty, pretty sure every staring. single one of <laughs> yeah. them is staring at her. <laughs> oh, oh, you wanted me to translate this. Sorry. Ideally, no, yeah. No. <laughs> Honestly, I think you know the worst of me already. There's nothing that the report could I've only... I, <laughs> no, this is giving me way more information than I ever needed. Really? Eating in a, eating in a bathroom in prison? Really, Gosrick? I uh, still really? stand by. It's the only place you can get some actual quiet. It's weird. <laughs> it's very <laughs> weird. Um, uh, so, no. they like, puts, puts the book down. So, these people know everything about you for the last four and a half years, five years that you all been adventuring together. Oh. And also well before you were the rivals. Really? Oh my god. Well, I mean, it's that almost... makes sense. I mean, it, I mean, based on the foods that we had on the ship, mm-hmm. like I've never eaten what I ate on that ship around you all, because right. I can't. I can't get it in water deep. No. So, whoever wanted you all captured, they wanted to have every possible advantage because you are formidable. And yet. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Same brain, clearly, even when you're no, not no. DMing. Ooh, you know awesome. who we could always oh. just ask? Yeah, right. Prince Andrew. 
And she just looks at you. You want to go to the prince? Uh, no. yeah. And she points very directly at the zombie. <laughs> no, I look at Bernard. I see him. Uh, and <laughs> I Is think it, it's, didn't you I, say I, the royal guard the tried royal to guard. you all the yeah, second no. you got off that ship? Absolutely. But yeah, and look how it went. It, well, exactly. Though I, I don't think we need to do the start the fight all the way through brawl to get our answers, but. Oh man, I hate to say this. I at least know that we could do it mm. in a so place you... where we don't know a lot of who's engaging with us. Mm. At the very least, if we can't find anyone else, we could trace the Prince yep. Andrew trail directly I back. We, I think we could ask Bernard to lead us to the Prince. Yeah. Can, oh yeah. Can Bernard remember anything that, that happened in life? Is, is that yeah, it says happened? that he... I but mean, he can't really talk though, right? According to writes... the way I... Oh. According to the way oh. I read it, he yeah. understands, he remembers everything, but he can't communicate it. So, so oh, okay. he would have to like literally walk us right uh, yeah. path. Uh, so get somewhere there, somewhat mm. there. I, you really want to go for an audience with Prince Andrew? This is what I'm understanding. Well, it's an option. I mean, we can certainly continue to brainstorm how you know who else this might be and why yeah. else we're here and and. Can we also just take a quick second? The goal is to go home or to deal with this. Can I do something cool? Always. I would depends. like, honey. I sure depends. don't know, but you have before. <laughs> well, it depends on what that is. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is this is interesting. I well, it's whatever. I would like to make a wisdom check to try to put these threads together. Oh. Are you going to be the dude with the red string? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, you, you see, like, Dahani, she's, like, she's got a, a piece of paper open, and she's got all this stuff written on this piece of paper. And Latia's brain cannot comprehend this, but maybe with a good enough role, Dahani's brain can. Yeah, like <laughs> that. I'll see what your role gets you. Okay. Hey. Uh, also, we'll, for we'll plot reasons, anything. <laughs> not giving away the whole plot in the middle. No, of no, 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 no. Forty-five. We're, really looking, we're looking for a good confirmed next step at this point. I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm... looking to see, like, what is the through line through all of this? That there is a through line, and I don't know what it is, we're... but maybe mm-hmm. with all this information out here now, Dahani mm-hmm. can try and figure out what it is. Yeah, this is our first, like, actual, like conspiracy board moment where we're like right. able to actually draw the threads for sure mm-hmm. um, and when I, you say that uh Faye just like magics up a actual board for you to do this yeah cool. you can have your red string moment i want you to 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 roll <laughs> and i will tell you what you get as you put oh the you son of a oh <laughs> well all right it was worth a try <laughs> what did you get i got a seven nice oh no it's good it's you started sharing room with gosrick your role it's too much <laughs> information is what yeah. it is it's too much information her brain is overloaded i um, um does anyone want to help the honey uh, honestly Ken's like- good at a lot of things but not this <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, we're just not good at wisdom. Like, if it was an insight or something yeah, like that, but or perception, can I make a wisdom roll to help? Sure, a wisdom it. check or a wisdom roll? Make a wisdom roll to thing. help. It was the same thing, not a saving throw, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no there's nothing attacking you yet. <laughs> uh, 18. Okay, okay. Oh, look at you two, yeah, I'll just for funsies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is what about as expected for Candy out of five. This is a nice oh. split down the middle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, five, all six, seven for me, Virgil, and Tahani. Please start using real dice, my God. Uh, <laughs> no, this is way more fun. This is, this is a lot more fun. Wow. Okay, let's see what, just for fun, let's see what my real dice said. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that was going to be a 23. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, too late now. Oh, yeah. But Chuck uh, and the guys are did pretty well. Yeah, I don't know how no, but... wise Bernard is. Can can I roll? <laughs> no. Yeah. Was, As a no. zombie form, he might get a negative. I mean, you know, if, if we can, if no. we can get, maybe we can get a grunt, grunt, get grunt once or grunt twice if we get yeah, on the yeah, right yeah, yeah. path for Bernard. Bernard knows everything. He just can't communicate to us except in yes and no grunts. God, yeah. it's, no, it's you're can... gonna you're gonna work for this since you made zombie nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy from Hocus Pocus with this Billy or something? Billy, 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 Billy yeah. Butcher, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So between all of you, uh, honey, so you've got the file, you've got like 
you know, the, the breakdown from Faye that literally this is everything about each one of you, minus her, minus Fenris. There's just the mention of Gat getting Fenris at one point, but there's not a detailed thing about him. Mm -hmm. And so there's this, there's a lot of notes about Strixhaven, about the, what is the college, the mage college? Quandrix? Quandrix? No. Yeah, Strixhaven. Strixhaven. But the tower, the tower where Laryl. Oh, 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 just the shoot. Dino, Laryl's tower. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Blackstaff. The, oh, oh, the, the well, that's, uh, that's Vajra, but yeah. That's Vajra. Well, yeah. Yeah. look, it's all... <laughs> it's all powerful mage ladies this, in Waterdeep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that big old tower. There's notes about Vajra. There's a lot of notes about Laryl. There's some notes about Mert. Basically, anyone you all have encountered. Some people have more notes than others. There's Whoa. a lot about the earlier arrivals, and then it kind of tapers off. Um, and there's basically like kind of unresolved slash TBD for the rivals that are no longer with the group that you don't know their whereabouts. Who's um, missing? Give me a roll, and I might tell you. Well, well I mean, I think that was a you, the, not a can. Oh, the, well, oh, okay. the, as we're like as we're finally starting to parse these together. They are absolute dossiers on us, but is there mm. anything that appears to be, aside from instructions to the captain to maybe get us here, is there anything that also appears to be a, like, not a motive, like, oh, a motive, like, mystery, but is there anything oh. that is like, okay, you have all this information, is, is there stuff saying, here's how to counter them if they do this, or is it just information? Oh, is it oh like, like how to counter like your storm magic? Oh. Is it like, is it the Xavier protocols or the Batman thing, or is it just like, right. it's all about them? The Batman yeah. thing? Batman can take out every member of the Justice League. It's a whole thing. And yeah. it's, you know what? Because okay. he hasn't it's resolved great, his childhood trauma. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all of them need therapy, but that's a different show. Right. Um, um, but yeah, basically, is it like, are these just really, right. really, really good dossiers on us? Or is yeah. there information on okay here's what to do next or if they do start trouble here's how to meh. yeah Which um, there's a... read because nobody cared <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's that there's a lot of we don't care about them we're we're not scared of them yeah but there is a little bit on like your storm magic and how your emotions inform it so if it changes colors be on the lookout mm. um if one of you suddenly is missing that means kent is probably using his ghost form oh wow um and Okay. That we can lure Gosrick away with money and ice spiders too. It's <laughs> not. I'm not mad that it's right. I'll tell you that much. No, so, and it's it's also not completely up to date because Dahani only just recently realized that she could also go invisible, and they don't know that. Right, right, right. So it's right. it's like it's well, like I haven't current... got to Dahani yet, but okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that's what it sounds like. Right, right, right. Yeah, like, there is a going... cutoff. I, I was okay. getting through everyone. I, I was getting there, but. Oh, um, there's like a, a note, but it seems weird. Like it's scratched out. Like no, Eric Hooker can't go invisible. Like it's just like this. <laughs> I, I I roll the disbelief kind of they note. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, there's a lot of for you, Shaka, about the Xanathar, okay. and a little bit about your new oh. patron, which I can't remember her name. Kagoya. For, uh, Kagoya. Yeah. Kagoya. Yes. Uh, there's yes. a little bit about Kagoya. Um, there's there's a. There's like a few pages on your gold dragonling and like I said, a little bit about Fenris. Mm -hmm. There's a lot about the brain in the jar and Brian. yeah, a lot about Brian because it's fascinating because of technology. <laughs> that's just like interesting. You're reading. Yeah, like, oh, it's, not... <laughs> it's like, that's like Kent got into a nerd mode about it. Yeah. 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 Like, it's like novels. Like, oh, uh... Uh, there's a little bit about duo. And the biggest note is kobold, not really ghost. Do not understand. This <laughs> duo can never see this dossier. Uh, I mean, it's not the language duo can read. I'm that's sure. true. Yeah. That's true. I think um, Ken asked us earlier, like, what's our goal? Do we want to stay here? Do we want to go? Do we want to deal with this? And I think, like, looking at all this information, um, Gazer kind of turns back and says, I don't think we can go. Yeah. I think if we go, it'll follow us. Yeah. In some capacity. This is extensive. Uh, yeah, I think we have to deal with it. Gods, no, we really. <laughs> if we go back, you're right, and then we're once again bringing it to water deep. And mm -hmm. I, we've said sorry so many times to the North Ward. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and and you know, for Shaka and Salise, 
there's also just like think about all the things you've done over the course of your adventures as the rivals and people that you probably encountered that you may not remember, but they definitely remember the rivals. Right. Yeah. That may or may not be in Waterdeep. Also, I just realized in terms of like enemies that we didn't talk about, Xanathar. That is yeah. one who is oh, the Elder Worm was working with, and we like dealt with the Elder Worm, but we never actually dealt with the Xanathar. Beholder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, um, yeah. yeah, in terms of just lists of enemies that might still be out there. All right, well, um, since Gazric brought it up, is the Xanathar mentioned? And in oh, what? yeah, I said that there is oh, you a did. lot. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, when it comes it's to mentioned. Shaka, there's a lot about Oh, Xanathar you did say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. how he was beholden to the Xanathar for quite a while before Kagoya came around. Right, right. Um, and remember when you were in Eswin Dale and you were during Gazric's whole going home thing, you found those cultists of Xanathar. Mm -hmm. Um. Don't forget the person you tied to a cot and left. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, never. He's fine. That guy was great. Yeah. You don't know that. That guy was very helpful. In he, 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 he encountered Shaka and didn't end up a zombie. That's pretty fine. That's pretty that's good. Right. The yeah. opportunity is quite a bar. That was, that was a different phase of Shaka, right? He wasn't yeah. zombified. Yeah. So, so your your combined efforts has told you someone or several someones. <laughs> is very angry with the course of actions that the rival has had, Rivals has had over their adventuring career. Mm -hmm. And this sudden interest in wanting to get rid of you and bring you to space seems to be tied to your recent adventures and mishaps in Strixhaven. Mm. But that could be part of the beginning. It could be part of the puzzle. But I will give you that bit where some of this is tied to what happened in Strixhaven. Mm. Okay. And, and what you discovered and undid. Okay. So you're in space. Yeah. You have very little coin. There's a very detailed dossier that you now have. That doesn't mean there's not copies of it. Um, because technology that you don't mm -hmm. understand. And uh, you all are in this parlor. It's also been a long time. Are any of you hungry, tired? Oh, you know, we got the snacks when we left the, you know, I mean. You're just, you know, it's been a while. You had a fight as soon as you got off the ship. Right, right, right. right. Um, gosh. they definitely tired. Sure. Definitely tired. I think uh, after this meeting, it's rest and recovery. I think that's mm -hmm. amazing. Or in whatever capacity. Sure. We should figure out what we want to do next and do tomorrow, particularly for you. Gazric, so that you know any relevant magics can be ready and mm -hmm. and we are even though it's not something we're familiar with we are in a tavern there yes. may still be information to be gained even sure if we don't even if we don't fit in okay mm -hmm. uh so does anyone want to do the the i'm listening in the tavern thing even though you're in space. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pull a Strider because I was going to go down and see if they like there was a money exchange or something. <laughs> yeah, but the fees will kill you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always, always, yeah. On the that's way a, out, that's the a way really high exchange, right? Always on the way out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I also asked you all a question for those that applies to in the oh, chat. Oh, sure. Um, I'm just looking. Yeah, I'm. I'm not the one. <laughs> Not yeah. enjoy the honey for this, uh, for this, but yeah, I'm gonna pull a very colorful hood out of my, uh, out of my sack, my banap sack, and shove it on my head. Like, is this conspicuous? I don't know. <laughs> looks good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us what it looks like. Oh, sorry. You go first, go ahead. Brian. No, go ahead. Go ahead. First, describe it, because please, please. Describe <laughs> because it. Hold, please. On. hold on, I gotta look it up. <laughs> um, but when Dahani, when Dahani puts this on, Virgil, like based on based on the few people we have seen since since disembarking, you know, once once she describes it, it's there's going to be the question: is does it look inconspicuous, or does it basically blend in? So, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah. it is. It it blends in because you've noticed people are like. Very fashionable. Think eighties. We're never leaving. Glam rock. <laughs> oh, we no. live here. We live here. 
bright colors will not stand out. You'll actually blend in a bit more. Yeah. Thank you, Waterdeep. Uh, We're good. Wow. <laughs> Rivals of Wild Space. <laughs> Um, no, no, we're on our own now. We could. <laughs> yeah. So it's not the full ensemble because there's too many bits and bobs, but she pulls out like a it's a, it's a hood that's basically like the color of sunset that she just kind of like drapes over her head. Um, the stars, if you have the skin, the stars I'm saying are like a, a tiara sort of thing. They're not actually on the hood, so she's not wearing the stars. Um, and then it's just like this purple sparkly. Um, this this vest that is um instead of the um the sash she wears actually yeah instead of the sash she wears and um she just puts on some like matching bracers it's not the full outfit and there's no stars okay. mm-hmm. uh kent or virgil do you want to kind of match what dahani's doing um i i mean for what it's worth in this moment i don't think kent is actually going to go downstairs to listen okay. he, again he has many talents but perception is really strongly not one of them <laughs> yeah no, I, I, <laughs> yeah um like at the honey like basically saying that that she's going to go downstairs Virgil starts to pull his hood up and then sees her change and thinks about what they've seen since and and says yeah we should blend in Yes, and there is very much a like the fashion here is very weird compared to Waterdeep, but okay, and and yeah, um, just re- recollecting everything and everyone that he saw before, basically they murk some dudes. Um, <laughs> just I can't get over the fact that everyone who's met us, we've had to anyway. <laughs> it's been a rough um, couple of days. Yeah, no, Virgil does kind of he he stops for a moment, uh, snaps his fingers, and and again like fog and lightning start sort of swirling up from his feet and around him and you can actually see him um put his head forward and pull it back and when it all dro- when it all drops away and dissipates um he is wearing a much brighter blue outfit there there's sort of like an off white panel there are there is a cape now as opposed to his cloak there are stars visible in it um there's a headband um a blue headband on his hair and his his dreadlocks are actually longer and some of them have bits of blue in them um and and he's got kind of like a a really bright pink emblem and and he looks and says i don't really feel like i blend in but i think this is blending in for where we are challenge accepted (laughs) (laughs) oh Uh, what is kent going to do uh kent is going to go and just uh it is a whirlwind of cloaks and fabric and there is there are ripping sounds as seams are pulled and reassembled and just sort of turns back to those two and is like oh have fun this is i'll, I'll be a minute but y- y'all have fun and mm. it's back to it there's a lot and, of fuchsia and when kent is done what does he look like so it's a very fuchsia the new uh it is now to be very clear the mother of pull cloak still exists, uh, but there is a new cloak uh, that has this sort of magenta uh, pink, neon pink star lining on the inside. Uh, there's just the gaudiest damn brooch you ever did see with enormous silver wings and like this big old chonky mother of pearl uh, or rather opal stone in the middle. Um, he's put little he's put little like, oh, what are they called? Like the little colored puffball things that like oh, kinder- cool. put on oh, things in yeah. kindergarten. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there's like one of those on each of the bandolier loops on his on his boots, uh, just to give him a little pop of color. Uh, the I think I think that's where we're starting. Uh, you know, the glamoured armor is of course helping out a lot, and he just is like it feels like it needs a hat. Oh, I'll find something. <laughs> All right. Um, Dahani, are you going it alone? Uh, does anybody want to go with me? Yeah, Virgil will we'll go with Dahani. Okay. All right. And the rest of you are staying in Kent and Virgil's room, or are you going back to your own rooms? Uh, Y'all are welcome to stay. I'm looking in the mirror a lot and trying to find something for a hat. <laughs> Gazer uh, heads back to his room, I think, just like <laughs> trying to get the spells right, get it sort of situated. Um, and, and we'll. Yeah. As Gosrick goes back, I'm like, 
take up space in the room. Hmm? Take up hmm. space in the room. Uh, okay, we'll see. I'll, oh. pro I'll, pro I'll probably start in the closet and then... Uh... If you are in the closet when I come back, I am dragging you out of it. What? As as you should. <laughs> Listen. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fair. I just oh, realized boy. the double... The, yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, okay. Every week, something new. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So... We're we're gonna cut over to to Hani, and who went with you? Virgil. To Hani and Virgil down in the main kind of common room. Mm -hmm. What is it you are doing to kind of eavesdrop and and get your bearings? Um. Oh, do I have any abilities that can help with this? What 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 can I what can I do as a monk? What is my what are you actually asking me and not? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, sometimes say, you don't know. I say, know. Mm, let me just kind of look over and see what 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 do I have that might fit here? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, no. the Bertle's gonna try and spot, um, if possible, an you know, an empty an empty table or booth, or if they're doing communals, then um, something where they can sit across from each other and then mm -hmm. look at look at opposite sides of the place and just yeah, just essentially. Be. I mean, I. Virgil would assume that a tavern anywhere is a tavern anywhere, and is um, you know, just kind of trying to soak up like what people, you know, if there's anyone who has loud concerns, or is it really just hustle and bustle? You know, is there is there a friendly bartender, tavern keep owner who's you know checking in, things like that. We're just trying to kind of see what the vibe and what the mood is and also listen to see if anybody is talking about um um you know what went down um just off the box yeah, yeah um i'm gonna yeah that's what we're doing with these with the advantage of my tongue of the sun and moon which means that no matter what anybody is saying in here i can understand it okay um each of you give me Whichever is better, perception or investigation. So nice. 19 for perception. Okay. What the heck? <gasps> what? That's not, that's not possible. I oh, know. Man. What did you do? I rolled oh, in. You shared a room with Gosric. I, I, I shared that. Yeah, I shared a room with Gosric. All right, I'm switching to my bubblegum diet. There you go. Well, the I mean, honey. Yeah. You you know that you're in a room full of people. Yeah. Um, and they're all talking. Yeah. But Virgil. Is it too much. Pro is like Virgil's basically looking at the honey who looks a little over too much. Uh, like. He yeah, this is probably the first time that she's there's so many conflicting conversations, and I think she can hear the actual languages kind of underneath the translations. So it's kind of short circuiting her. Mm. Um, so it's like going outside after three years in a pandemic. Correct. Yeah. Virgil's Virgil's doing his own listening, but actually puts his, you know, kind of leans forward and puts his hands on Dahani's and, and says no, it's focus. Just Draw inward, block it out, and casts uh, enhance ability on the honey. And it is, it does say owl's wisdom, but I'm going to change that to Eric Coker's wisdom. So you have mm -hmm. advantage on wisdom checks. Heck yeah. Thanks. All right. Um, and you'll get a chance to roll again once we see what uh, Virgil has, has discovered. Uh, Virgil, you see a couple get Yankee in Royal Guard uniforms. They seem to be just off duty, enjoying a drink of some kind. You see a few of those like strange celestial elves that you encountered in your dreams. There were a couple on the ship. Luckily for Kent, who has stayed in the room, there is a gif nearby. <laughs> who is, because of their size, just like taking up a whole booth. It's clear they're there chilling, having dinner. Whatever they do, it is break time. They're enjoying their meal. And, um, Sorry, that threw me off. Um, and there are other few creatures, you know, like some of the creatures that all of you have, like, saw in your dreams before you actually got pulled in space. 
Um, and the honey, I'm going to let you roll again to see if you can overhear specifically the royal guardsmen. Beautiful. That is a 21. Nice. Excellent. Break the curse. So you actually overhear Dahani because you, you're facing in a way where you can hear them without looking conspicuous. Yeah, I don't know that didn't get that, that one rogue guy and boss is super mad. We think we need to find them and find them quick because I don't know why they want them, but they're not happy and, and poor. Poor Jimmy. I saw what that tiefling did to a man. We have to go tell his family. Oh. Jimmy's not his actual name. That's just like his nickname. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Bernard after all. Damn, I was hoping that we actually dialed it in anyway. Yeah. No. I think no, we upgraded sorry. his name. Yeah. We upgraded wow. Him. What's wrong with Jimmy? Bernard Superior. It's wow. Me. Wow, okay. Anti-Jimmy agenda, I see you. <laughs> um, Should have yeah. named him Gregory, but... You know? Mm, never mind. That would be too on the nose. I was going to name one of these guards Gregory now that you said that. Mm. Uh, I relay this particular piece of information, like this particular conversation to uh, Virgil. I say, it actually might be a good thing that we change out of what we came here in. They'll be looking for more or less our classic outfits. We should let the others know. Uh, any, any other tidbit? I mean, we know that they're looking for us, so... Yeah, well, they say that their boss isn't going to be happy. They don't even know why their boss wants us. And apparently our guard's friend's name is Jimmy. We should have gone with Jimmy. We should have gone with Jimmy. Also, their boss. I thought that they were. I mean, well, I mean, so you if, would know who their boss is. Yeah, yeah. If they're the, okay, so they're they're actually guard. saying like they're saying the boss is like like in the guard as opposed to someone else having them do this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So their their boss is is Prince. It's Prince Andrew. Prince. Well, the, so there's Prince Andrew, like the captains and things like that. So the captain got the order from Prince Andrew. Right, and then pass it down. And whatever reasoning there is happening, they're not high enough on the food chain to know why they want, we're supposed to get you, just get you. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, yeah, I mean, well, why don't we just go to Prince Andrew? I really, it seemed like it was hitting too high, but that's the person that has the answers. Now let's, let's get some new outfits so that we can be, we can blend in a little better and then let's go right to the source. If we found out why he wants us, let's ask him directly. Or if you find out that he wants us, let's ask him directly. Yeah, I actually am. I'm, I'm a little tired of trying to, like, fumble around in the dark here. We are on unfamiliar ground, but somebody wants, somebody wants us, so we should go find them. Mm -hmm. Also, do you want to get food? Berta looks around at what people are eating and drinking. Uh, does does do, do we see anything that looks familiar to us? Um, the gift seems to have the most familiar looking food. Like there's a giant bowl of greens. There seems to be some kind of meat. Probably not meat you're used to, but it, it you know you know what roast looks like. Um, so the gift kind of has familiar food. The elves, the light elves that you've seen, or celestial elves, like one call them light elves, it's not the right name. Um, they have, they've got flagons of wine, it looks like. Not quite sure what they're eating, but, you know, it's a tavern. You see stew, you see roast. There seems to be, quote unquote, normal food that you all would eat. Probably don't know what animal it was made out of, but you know there's meat of some kind here. Mm -hmm. um, then, yeah, on the way back to the rooms, I think um Virgil would order you know whatever whatever the house's um meat and vegetable specials are and we'll stick basically yeah they, they know what water is we'll actually order water and not not booze and then Dahani 
And Hani will slap a smattering of coins on the table uh, that probably overpays for the meal. Yeah, a gift Yankee uh, serving person wanders by and kind of like nudges at the coins like, oh, no, 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 this you you just got a drink. It's OK. No, no, oh, I mean, you we ordered, ordered, yeah, we ordered food, food for our yeah, for our whole group. And they still kind of pile pick at the coins and they give you a good chunk of them back. They're like, no, no, no. It's clear you just got off the ship. This is too much. It's OK. OK, can I we don't have to act this out, but can I ask them what the what the coins mean so that I know what they mean for later and can tell everybody? Um, basically, you pick the highest level of coin on this on Brawl. I, wow, I'm trying to think of what it is. But basically, you have Electrum coins at this point. Cool. You have Electrum yeah. and one Electrum, I think, is worth 100 gold. So we just want an idea of the denomination and the breakdown. Yeah, yeah. But I think one electrum is a hundred gold, um, a hundred silver is one gold, etc. So it's basically well, high. Yeah. It's well above what you're used to carrying around. Got it. So if you were to bring gold and trade it in, you would get electrum coins and platinum. Okay. So a, too much of a cut when we come back to the exchange rate in Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not going to be okay with that. Well, I might just keep one as like a souvenir. You know, Definitely. I like. Yeah, I mean, you have enough money at home where you could keep one of these and not even mm -hmm. worry about it. But um, yeah, but yeah you, you've you ordered your food and, and the, the gift bank is like, yeah, yeah, we'll bring it up. We'll bring it up <laughs> unless you want to wait on your food. No, well, I'm, I'm cool uh, having them bring it up. All right. Um, so are you convening? Are you getting everyone else? Or you're just kind of going straight to Kenton Virgil's room. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go in my room at at least. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna knock. I'm I'm gonna knock as I'm walking in so that Goswick has no time to stop doing whatever he's doing. Okay, Goswick, what are you doing? I am buying. I found myself like a blue admiral's coat by going through the closet, and I'm trying it on as it like matches, like just something like over it. And it's like, okay, well, the threading, and I'm in the middle of the room now. I'm getting myself situated and just like, if I tailor it, it's currently at my knees and I like hem it up a little bit. I was like, okay, okay. Maybe the answer is just covering myself in the material of this universe, huh? Of this plane. And the, the, I'll have to acclimate that way. I turn around, I see Tahani. Oh, what do we think? Yes. Okay. Feel felt right. Yeah. Also, felt... it's it's probably a good idea because uh, there are people still looking for us, and uh, they're probably going to be looking for what we usually wear. So... Oh no. Okay. The iconic fit. I get it. Mm -hmm. Also, I got food. Word that it's going to be brought up. They're bringing us food. Okay. Uh... That's good. Um, is there anything else I should know about in terms of uh, we good to sleep here tonight? Is it safe? Probably. Uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll uh, I found some stuff out. We'll reconvene in Virgil and Kent's Solar and, uh, you know, learn learn what we learned. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, it takes a little bit, but food eventually is, is brought to you all and you're free to reconvene in Brian and oh, Brian. Oh, my God. Kent and Virgil's. I'm, I do that so badly. Uh, Kent and Virgil's Solar Parlor. Now that you've said that. Uh -huh. I just I love all the fancy names for big rooms. So eventually it'll be like the solar solar parlor foyer. Uh -huh. thing foyer room. has got to be in there. Yeah. yeah. The Can the 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 lovely tree. rivals salon. Mm. In our... The oh, salon. Yes. Yes. It's a salon foyer. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Kent insists I'm pronouncing it salon. Salon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you can welcome everyone to the yeah. salon. <laughs> salon. If you like. The end is so um, not there. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we broke Brian this week. Um, <laughs> well, uh, oh, Ken's found his hat. It is this uh, little tiny little strip of fabric that goes between his uh, between his horns, and then this enormous fuchsia feather. Um, okay. What? And then here's everything that just happened. Yeah. Yes. Well, 
Do you actually vomit out words? <laughs> no. No, 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 that's what Kat does with standard, magic. <laughs> yeah, it's the standard, it's the standard catch-up, you know, like mm -hmm. the, the West Wing multiple camera catch-up dialogue. It's like the back and forth in the hour. Okay. <laughs> oh, the other thing, we don't, I don't know why I'm insisting on doing this goofy detail, but the other thing that has happened uh, is there is this barely visible outline of like a humanoid who is, uh, that is sort of wandering around the salon, uh, cleaning up the scraps of my outfit creation. Uh, Kent discovered a new spell uh, and accidentally cast Unseen Servant, and so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right what, what, i'm never picking up shit again i mean that means i don't have to so that is well, what i meant yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna talk about this later because the unseen yeah. servant can make things super awkward when you're ready to go to sleep it's a it is a non-sentient humanoid invisible shape that does what i tell it and i'll dismiss it when it's time to dismiss it oh, okay <laughs> All right. I love that you accidentally cast Unseen Surf. Yeah, I've almost gotten through all of my spells uh, accidentally. All right. There's so for you. Yeah. So <laughs> with that in mind, you all have food. You you have gotten the information from Dahani. Mm -hmm. um, Selise is sitting there while Faye fusses around her to change her outfit. <laughs> she's an artificer, so she's changing it. Oh, yeah. Um, what would you like to do with this new information? I mean, it really only points us in a direction. It doesn't it doesn't tell us anything we didn't suspect. I, I tend to agree that heading to the top seems like the most expeditious solution. So you want to audience with Prince Andrew? Is what um, I'm, I'm going to sneeze. We're, we're definitely going to want to talk to mm -hmm. Prince Andrew. Yes. Or at the very least, do some reconnaissance about them, right? Like, start, like, scoping them out before just immediately talking to them, maybe? Okay. Or are we past that? I think, I, like, I'll, I'll, like, genuinely ask the group, or do we just, oh. like, try to set up a meeting? I mean, we have all this information that was collected on us, an exhaustive amount of information, and mm -hmm. now we know from the idle chatter of the guards mm -hmm. that their higher ups are specifically looking for us. Mm -hmm. We can certainly we can certainly scope out information to make it easier to approach, but I mm -hmm. do believe at the end of this is that we're going to have to find out what their boss leading all the way up the chain to the prince mm -hmm. wants with us. And I also yeah. need to mention the fact that what they initially wanted with us was to send us to lower brawl where there were right. prisons. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's that's Virgil's thought to the rest of the group. Yeah, you you were destined for the prison part of brawl. Right. Um, before all of this. Immediate custody was the I mean, move. Yeah. We can certainly do some recon about him, but I mean in the end, oh yeah, no go. Sorry. Um no no. Did the files have anything about, um, like, anything specifically that would indicate why we were going to be put in prison? Like, were there, is this a authority charges sort of thing? Or is this a, this is, oh, yeah. this is them? And, and essentially, if there's nothing that mentions charges, then we're simply going to assume the prisons to get us out of the way. Versus, was there anything that said, hey, here's why we're putting them behind bars? Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to say, like, if there's nothing specific, then we'll just uh -huh. assume they want us out of the way, and that's, right. that's normal. For I mean, us. I know what my it's fairly plan standard, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Right, and but was, was there anything the mentioned in that? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. damn you and your murder mystery brain. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, there's charges. Gosrick speaks legal, and and maybe do you really want to use the screen? Representing you? As oh, I'd as be trying very to on the screen. We're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to roll. Depending yeah. on what I roll, I will tell you whether or not I will tell you a whether or not that information is even in the file, and b if it's in a language that mm -hmm. they can fair. comprehend. Yeah, I, yeah. Even I don't implied, know that necessarily even implied as a thing. Yeah, like it's right. not like I don't exactly. Know specifics, but exactly because I think then that get, just gives us a better idea of how to approach it. Right. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing, and we assume they want us out of the way, then you know maybe we want to get in a little sneakierly. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but if there are specific charges and we can like have a legal moment, well, then we can approach a little more openly, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Well, unfortunately for you all, I rolled a 19. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, but I will give you this. You can tell there's something missing in this file. Oh, interesting. Okay. That there's hmm. either a subsection, another envelope, or something that was removed that maybe only the captain on that galleon had. Sure. There is clearly something missing. There was a manifesto basically get rivals discom not discombobulated because you wouldn't know that word as the rivals. Um, get rivals unsettled off the good foot. Make yeah. sure they are not well rested. Bring to galleon deposit on brawl. You do find that list. So there is a there okay. was an order of operation. These dreams were intentional to kind of unsettle you all uh -huh. before you were actually brought onto the galleon. Oh, they did that. Ugh. So, um, are you, Dahani? By the way, are you going to tell him that there was a gift down there? No, because I don't think it was, it wasn't her focus, so. <laughs> Just not even to warn your friend, okay. I, I don't listen, think she's, she's not thinking about it like that. Hope, hopefully he's gone by the time we come down tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, <laughs> encounter therapy is what we're going to have to basically deal with. Uh, yeah. I, you know, and I think Ken's ready to start that, you know. I think he's realizing that this really is an issue that needs to be addressed for him, and if he wants to move forward in a happy, healthy way. Just note that I'm a DM and not a mental health professional. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so so what's the approach then? We have the goal. What's the approach? Well, I figure we have a couple of options. Yeah. Uh, and I can't believe that I'm the one saying this. Um, so <laughs> we have our options are seek out audience directly cause mayhem or just yeah. say to the guards hey guess what we're the rivals of water deep and we're about to make your day the best it's ever been mm -hmm. so you're going to willingly go down to these guards and let them take you in well, no, it's an option that's an one option it's one option it's not well i was gonna say it's not even the worst of the three uh honestly <laughs> um I mean, if we want to do a process of elimination, don't get me wrong, love a bit of extra, love a bit of chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does feel like there are still too many things we don't know in terms of like the abilities of the people that we're up against and the technology they have at hand. Sure. So uh, a big get attention with chaos feels like it would be the one that I would eliminate from the three options to start. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you all want to do out of your remaining options? Mm -hmm. Do we do we do a little bit of both? Do we see how far we get undetected? Oh. Mm -hmm. And then at the point at which we are probably inevitably, right? I mean, we're very good, but we don't know. Again, we don't know mm -hmm. the extent of technology and abilities here. So at the mm -hmm. point at which we are discovered, we make it look like it was intentional and say, yes, see, we got this far. We're the waters, the waters of Rival Deep. And uh, I said what I said. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, take us to your leader, mm -hmm. space aliens. <laughs> okay. Or in some ways, we'll just cut a path there. Well, I mean, yes, I was trying to avoid lat, 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 it aloud, but yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do have Salise back. Right? No, absolutely. <laughs> I, um, I actually um, am a fan of see how far we can get. Yeah. I like I like that because, yeah, at, at this point, all we're going to do is cause more strife and mayhem if they try to take us. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and take it to their doorstep. Yeah. Um, and at this point, Faye actually coughs and holds up a, a sheaf of paper. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, um, so if you all are going to insist on this, you should know more about Prince Andrew. <laughs> oh. There there's a little bit about him in here, just you know, just so whoever wrote this wanted to know who they were dealing with, I guess. Because he's also part of this weird oh. idea. Wait, he's well. interesting. Mentioned, that's interesting. She found as she, as you all were talking, she was mm -hmm. reading more of the mm -hmm. dossier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she, because there's like a little bit on the rock of brawl. Basically, it was supposed to be like kind of like once you're deposited, this is what you do. So just so you all know, uh, Prince Andrew, spelled A N D R U, huh. is the does make it a little better. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the Brawlian monarch, 
is a slender, graceful man of about 44 years. He is very self-serving and devious, and he believes the end justifies the means. So it does not surprise me that he might be involved. In was this an assassination by rivals? See, I'm the, kidding. The fact that I was it done. I'm so sorry. No, because but... yeah, no, please finish because yes, both Latia and Brian are like. I, I'm keep going, keep going, keep going, keep mm-hmm. going. So the one this interesting tidbit, and she's just like deviously smiling about it. Did you know that he had his brother Kalar killed? And he had his brother killed and took over the throne and has been in power ever since. And no, he... why would we know that? What <laughs> Virgil? You are so good. I it's it's clear that maybe he thinks you all are a threat to his power, but he does keep a bunch of people with him. He keeps a console. But the two you have to watch out for are Proconsul Godric Maine. And he's he's an elderly wizard. Um mm-hmm. so he's probably powerful but a bit erratic. And the other is Mahazara Call. Um and she looks directly at Salisa this when she describes her like, I know you. Um, she's very athletic, very buff, and she has snake tattoos on her arms, and she is unflinchingly loyal to House Kozar and does not care about politics of the court. Mm. She's loyal to the house, which is why she's serving Andrew, because it's whoever's in is that the idea? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay. And, but she she was giving Salisa that like. I know your type. I'm gonna watch you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, is there look, any more? Is there any more information for, from Faye regarding this extra bit? Um, just a bit about the underbarons. One of the underbarons, she just like makes a face at it because she's read about them, but she's never seen one, thankfully, and none of you have seen one. Mm. But she said one of the underbarons. Should we have to go to the lower level of brawl? Mm. There are four of them that are in power. One is called Osmata. They're a human. They control the docks in the very unlawful parts of the pirate area. Mm-hmm. Meriden Sandyfoot. They're they're halfling. They're basically, you know, over the crafts folks and the dwarves and the and the halfling. There's someone just only known as the juggler. They're an elf. It doesn't say what kind of elf. Uh-uh. Um her real name is Blacked Out, but her real name is known to someone. And it looks like she runs the Jugglers Folk Guildhouse Entertainer. I'm not sure. And then the one that is concerning me is the unknowable one. They're a mind player. Hmm. uh, Out of character, would any of you know what a mind player is? In character, would you know that? Jaka would know. Uh... Jaka would know. Yeah, we interacted with a mind flare in Waterdeep. Oh yeah. Seasons. So this mind flare under Baron captures citizens of Brawl and turns them into spies. Oh no. I'm I'm gonna yeah. let Virgil and Tahani give us their idea, but oh no. Well at that at that last part regarding spies, um Virgil does ask Faye, I know that you took care of the people who were following us did they mm-hmm. did they give up any information or what were they basically what was that encounter like it was strange they were very single minded so after reading this i think they worked for the under they worked for okay. the mind player mind players are disgusting have you seen a sketching of them oh i read descriptions and didn't seem nice yeah they blah, 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 blah. they 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 look weird Actually, they look like this. <laughs> yeah, but that mug, honestly, is really great. And I'd love to know so where you get that. And you should do Storm Crow. Storm Crow in chat to find out. <laughs> oh. Made of that product placement. The, the fact no. that this information, not just about us, but about these major players, is in. It's this. almost like they expected us to find out what this all was. Feels more arranged than it seems. Mm-hmm. That's possible, but um, Faye hands you the part about Prince Andrews. You all can kind of look it over. 
Um, I think either you all go look for this prince and I hang back and do some work myself. Yeah. Or we try to find a ship and get back to Waterdeep. I mean, I'm never leaving, but that aside. Uh... <laughs> you I... are not staying here. I believe that Vacation I believe fun. that getting home is is absolutely paramount. However, as we have said time and time again, if we don't deal with this problem, it will simply follow us home again. Mm. But All right. knowing Father. this, sorry, knowing this though, I am more confident in our decision to get as far as we can quietly. And we <laughs> I know this is a big swing for us, but we may want to do our best to disable rather than kill until we know a little bit more. Not only about who is doing this, but why? Because if if this is just all part of an intricate political game for power in Brawl and we are tools to remove certain players, mm -hmm. I. I am I am not a pawn. I am a queen. Thank you very much. So I would like to be a little more aware of right. the consequences of my actions, which I realize yeah. is something I potentially have literally never said in my entire life. But this time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting that whoever hired Pete, whoever sent us here couldn't tell us this information directly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, is it possible? And and Faye puts on her conspiracy hat. What's it look what? like? Yeah, what's it look like? <laughs> I don't know why I immediately assumed fedora. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> conspiracy hat. Getting a whole rename on top oh. as the question kind of yeah, feel yeah. going on. Yes. No, I have like three fedoras in the living room. Oh, I was like, oh no. <laughs> uh, it's either um, that or Carmen San Diego hat, like a real no. thing. Yeah. God, I want that, yes. Mm -hmm. Um it, it's Sorry. it's a special from Space Goran Brothers. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, he's like. So from what I've learned of you all being around you and Solis, you're formidable enough to probably be a tool for someone, either hoping to take out enemies. And who would suspect you? You're from Faerun. You don't belong mm -hmm. here. None of us belong here. Mm -hmm. If you were taken captive. And accidentally, on purpose, killed some people escaping and getting home. Who would be the wiser? Because why would anyone? Why would anyone on this rock want you all? Not not in a bad way, but you don't belong here. Who also would expect us to stay? Exactly. Well, I mean, we'll have a talk about it. But yes, I I think honestly, this just lends more credence to our getting close to the seat of power. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if we us doing that on our own if somebody has plans that involve us and any of these major players us making moves on our own is going to worry them and perhaps bring them out of hiding but more importantly we're not going to do what they were expecting us to do true yeah all right so it sounds like you have made up your minds to to do some recon try to get close to prince andrew yeah and see where that gets you, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. Uh, starting to get to the prince is where we'll pick up next week. We are Woohoo! Fantastic. All this was good. This was so good. Like, yeah, I love it. Like, are these pieces coming together? I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> I, I'm struggling. I, I struggle and I struggle with this as a writer, too, of not giving away the whole plot too early. So I'm glad you all are picking up the pieces. Well, it's and difficult. Oh, go ahead. No, we're, I, surprise, surprise. We're going to say the same thing, which is yeah. like, it's not even as a writer, right? Like it's hard as a D. Oh, my camera's being weird, but it's hard as a DM <laughs> because there are other things that you have to consider, right? And so you you don't want to give it all away, but if you don't give enough, we'll never get it. Mm -hmm. and right. And also, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, as players at the table, we're also, we know that there is a big and we don't want you to we don't want you to drop that all at the end of episode one just because we asked like a good question we want you to like tease that out so that's why i'm trying to ask questions that seem appropriate in the moment but are like mm. okay don't give it all away but i'm just trying to like get to that next step mm -hmm. yeah uh so while we do outros you all know the drill ask questions of our characters oh, right. not of us and uh we're gonna start outros and we're gonna go in reverse order 
since uh, Shaka huh. looks like he's on baby duty. Beat you to it. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, wait, reverse order. That's me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was very distraught at having been beaten to the rival's question command. Hi, I'm Lentia uh, Uh The world is ending and we are all going down with it. Uh, but you can find me until it explodes on Twitter uh, or on my website, lutiagekeese.com. I, I will be at PAX. And next week, I have such exciting news. <gasps> I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up would be Masood. Hey, everyone. I'm Masood. I play Cosmic Nomad uh, on Rivals with these wonderful folks on Sundays. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. I will also be at PAX Unplugged, which is very exciting. I won't be here next week, which is very sad, but you'll catch me live the following week with these wonderful folks in Philadelphia. Um, and if you want to know what else I'm up to, if you want to reach out to me about anything, or if you want to schedule a hang for when we're at PAX together, Say it, reach out to me on my Twitter at Marudboy, M A H R U D E B O I. Uh, Brian. Hi, uh, I am Brian. Uh, I have been Virgil. Uh, I am found everywhere on the internet, pretty much uh, urban bohemian. Uh, I say Twitter is the best way to figure out what I'm doing, but you know, we all know what's going on. It's fine. Um, you can also check out my blog. You can check out anything else. Uh, you can check me here on Twitch. Uh, happening next. Sorry, next week, but I realize we're already in next week because it's this week. So happening tomorrow is um, Idol Champions Presents Hunger of the Far Realm, which I am on with uh, with Eugenio and Tristan and Holly and Anna and B. Dave is our DM. And tomorrow is our final episode, which I can't believe. It is also the last day that you can unlock Virgil for free in Idol Champions. So if you do play Idol Champions, you haven't done the event yet, hop on in because tomorrow will be the last day. And uh, beyond that, yeah, I'm going to be at PAX uh, in a few weeks with these awesome folks. And I really like, yeah, just all of my things are hitting finales right now. So I'm going to have a lovely free and breezy week until I start cooking for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You hand me out. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Eugenio. I'm James Jazzy Hens on the interwebs, uh, Twitter and here on Twitch. Uh like Brian said, tomorrow night is the finale of uh, Idol Champions Presents. So come hang out at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific over there. Uh, and then I have kind of a funny week. I actually don't know that I'm going to be streaming at all this week on my channel. Uh, I got some stuff to do on Tuesday. Uh, keep an eye on the Twitters and on the YouTubes for some super awesome Dragonlance content coming mm -hmm. from D&D &D Beyond mm -hmm. soon. Uh, but we're shooting some of that on, uh, on Tuesday, so I may not be able to stream then. And then, of course, the holiday in the States. Uh, so, you know, follow me and, and I'll see you in december <laughs> uh sharif is not back but you can find him everywhere sharif jackson i think rivals is the only thing he's doing that he's had the last few weeks uh but also support what he's doing he if you need math tutoring please go to sharif if you got kids that need math tutoring please go to sharif i believe it's mathlooksgood.com if not we'll ask him the exact url um then and then me i too will be at the pax unplugged i'm doing several things on friday I get to play in two back-to-back -back games with Eugenio, an all-bard game, and Motherlands. Um, and I'm doing Gloomhaven thing to kick off PAX Unplugged. That I'll be doing all the things Friday. I've got one panel on Saturday about freelancing. And then uh, Rivals Live from PAX on that Sunday. See what else. Uh, I'll be playing a lot of Dead Boy in the coming week because it's the holiday. Dead Boy. Dead Boy. Dead boy. Huh? boy. I said boy. Um, I think that's it because there's no more black dice. Mm -hmm. We took off this week for Motherland. So this is it. So I'll see you in a week for this. And uh, yeah. And we have two questions, I believe. Um, I'll ask Kent. And I'm going to ask you the other question. For Kent, how long until you make shimmery silver name tags for all the rivals or at least your own outfits? The problem is, right, I think... I'll check the spell, but I think I can only make one at a time. So that means I have to uh like get our I can't get I can't get Faye to do it because I'll make one for her too. So I gotta get uh, our other artificer friend that Goswick works with mm -hmm. to help me make some more permanent things. Uh but like not long is the answer, not long after we get home. Uh well, she's right there, you could ask her. Right, but I want to surprise her too. Oh, okay. Why would we need name tags? Sometimes people don't know us, which has not ever been true. Never mind. We don't need name tags. Mm. 
I feel like this is like a Witcher thing where everyone seems to know who Geralt is. Yeah. Who goes. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah need no name tag. Although we could do like alias name tags for when we want to go incognito. That's right. Because nothing says I'm not. A, uh, what was the tooth? When we got the toothbreaker hook. Yeah, we have to yeah. go back and get those. Uh, we got to get those same. Yeah. Yes, that's what Kent will make when we get home. Mm. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Kent has to cosplay Celise. Also, that I will make a Celise name tag for Kent, of course. Obviously. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> All right, and then um, somebody wants to ask Duo this question. Yeah, well, we want to know if Duo has a Duo or Brian actually, but we're asking Duo have been having any strange dreams lately since the rest of the denizens of Troll Skull have. Mm. Mm. Nah, just it's weird. Everybody's gone. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I guess Brian, ghosts don't dream. <laughs> and Brian's a machine. Why would he dream? There are there are electric there are, out there. I'm still there are organic on, components. On Brian, I'm still verdict on Brian. Like we refer to Brian like a robot, and I'm like Brian's a brain. So it's, it's brain organic. first. Organic, yeah. Like, but Brian's like a brain in a jar and a machine. There's just keeps, what it, like I love it keeps adding like it's a brain yeah. jar and a body and a machine like it just keeps adding every yeah season. yeah <laughs> I don't know if I dream it's just weird man I I think about like like spider leg stew it haunts me <laughs> that's great oh. yeah, the ghost is haunted right, I love the about this. Haunted. Our, yeah our, priv- our privies are also haunted by that we understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a follow up for our, for Kent oh. Um, will Virgil's name tag be the only one in all caps? Um, so the, f- the typeface is going to be that, like the one where like it's all caps, but the lowercase are just shorter caps because it's easier to read. Um, but yes, Virgil's will be all uppercase caps. Yes. Yes. With like, I mean, it, it's going to depend on the construction of the tag, but there will be three to eight exclamation marks after it as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Hold on. I think I no. I don't, I don't have the right microphone on for the podcast viewer, so I won't do it. Uh, <laughs> oh no! What were you gonna do? Um. Well, I apologize for anyone who's not listening. One second. Go, go check out the very end of the vod from this week if you want to hear what exactly uh, Brian's uh, about to do. So, Stream Deck, please work with me. Don't do this. <laughs> never, thing. never, never. never. We have six minutes. We actually have time for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So yeah, come back to me. Come back to me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was actually our last question. Uh, Sharif, now that you're back, uh, I shouted out your tutoring. Is there anything else? And also, please correct me if I got the URL wrong. Is it mathlooksgood.com or just sharifjackson.com? Uh, both of them. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all linked, both linked to each other. Um, okay. Yeah, sorry, y'all. I had, I'm kind of solo parenting at the I moment. I had a bit no, of a uh, son, uh, uh, son that agreed with Prince Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. and bernard off off the path so i had oh, to, no. wow so you know he's okay. lying against me um yeah yeah no map was good.com um uh that's really the main thing going on in terms of uh public streaming things or anything like that um so just looking forward to pax you and um yeah and also watching the last 30 minutes of the show to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, I think I will be streaming some data boy later once I, once we've done our post show and I've had some actual food. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Unless there are hey. any more questions. No, um, now I need like, I need the supercut of God of War Ragnarok, but every time he says boy, instead you hear. Virgil. <laughs> I mean, oh, there's. Cool. <laughs> I've got free time coming up over the weekend. Look at that. I've been Look so at happy. That. Yeah. Uh, I've never been so I just, pleased. I just need the audio file. Yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah you're gonna, you're, it'll be in a drive link soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that, that reminds me of those like Resident Evil mods yeah. where they replace. Oh, God. No, oh. not Thomas Tank No. Thomas, yeah. Thomas Tank Engine. No. Or uh, man. That's <laughs> pretty good. No. I think before we do wrap up and go, though, hey, Go check out our Indiegogo. We got a lot yeah. of people left on One it. more week. Yes. One more week. We'd love any support that y'all can uh, throw our way, share, tweet, do whatever you need to spread the word. We rivals really appreciate y'all and all the support that you've been showing us so far in the campaign. And we just got a week left. Let's ride it out strong. Thanks, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Also, we were just in Forbes. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That still. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Forbes, Forbes talked to all of us basically about uh, Rivals, what it means, um, what impact it has. And it was really nice to that they were showing us support to get our word out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So uh, please share. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Rava Weedlin, uh, who I met in Milwaukee mm -hmm. when I, back mm -hmm. when I lived there. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, nice. Yeah. Play a lot nice. of games with him. When I oh, was nice. There. Back in yeah. Milwaukee, right? That's what they call it. Back, back in the day. Back no, I don't think they. No, no. I, I don't so think we went so. to Milwaukee earlier. This started with a fun story just uh, about me and Misha. Uh, and uh, the entire time we we're there, we were just like. We're in the walkie. We left Chicago behind, and now we're in walkie. Uh, you are nobody totally calls Chicago transplant. the shy, so yeah. it's <laughs> you are a transplant. Get out. <laughs> What's wow. more offensive, the shy or Chicago? That's both. I, just gotta ask, both. I, just gotta ask. I live in Chicago. Chicago. I don't know I'm in Chicago over you. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh no! Oh no! You know no. that offer for for salmon is rescinded. Oh! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Stop. I'm and leaving. with that, with that, we're gonna go. Speaking of Data Boy, we're gonna go raid the Opera Geek. She just yep. live with some more Data Boy. Yeah. Uh, be nice, say hi. She does have 10 minute follower mode on because people try to spoil games and be terrible. Yeah. But if you're not already following, you have to wait a little bit to say hi. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go raid Kelly, and I almost did the raid call in Zoom chat, not in Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. So let's go see the Opera Geek, and we'll see you in a week. Go show the Indiegogo. Be nice and yeah. high. Yeah. Bye, Bye y'all.